Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, just a really short video here on um, assembly of a pest. Um, so I got this from uh, Chris Swinson. Um, he, this was designed originally by Chris and Alison. They both worked on it together. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while now, but they're quite hard to get hold of. I really wanted an original one that uh, perhaps Alison had assembled, but um, yeah, second hand, they're pretty hard to get hold of. Um, I did get a Jest, which is a sort of uh, an emulator for a joystick, so you can connect a PS2 joystick to an ST, but um, I think that was a prototype um, and doesn't quite work very well, but um, it does work as a, you know, for the, the point so you can use the analog sticks and things as a, a mouse. Um, but anyway, Chris has um, got some of these. He stopped making these now because there's, there's a lot of clones um, sprung up and it's just not worth the time I think um, basically assemb you know, the assembly time and stuff and the demands are quite low for them these days um, so he started selling on the remaining stock he's got um, in kit form um, as you can see you get the little PCB like this and you get the D uh, connector there uh, and it just slides on it's a really elegant sort of design that I love the way that just the board just slips between the two connectors there it's just the right thickness so you can sold that needs soldering on obviously and then you get a pick chip here um, you can see this it's um, a pick 16F I think that's a 628A can't really see very well from here my eyesight's uh, not as good as it used to be um, but anyways pre-programmed that um, yeah so pick chip needs to go on there uh, it's marked on the board there now, I didn't see this initially but you've got like a clock day zero you know ground five volts so you could stick your PS2 um, mouse socket on there um, and this basically is you know a, a PS2 to uh, Atari um, converter. You could probably adapt this actually for an Amiga now I think about it because the pins I think are the only thing that's different between an ST mouse and an Amiga mouse is the pins around the other way or something. Uh, could be wrong there um, but uh, yeah you could probably use it for um, probably use it for an Amiga I think with a little bit of work. Um, but the other thing he's got is a, a load of these uh, boards as well, so I think he's selling these in pair, pair, pairs like that for a pound, so they work out 50 pence each or something. Um, and it's, I would say that's quite useful actually because I've got the pick um, development stuff myself, I've got a programmer, a couple of programmers actually, and all of the software and what have you. Um, so I was thinking of um, programming one of these, um, I have a go, I'm going to have a go at uh, making a um, PS2 to Commodore 64 mouse. Adapter. I think that's going to be quite tricky actually from what from what I understand about how the mouse or the, how the mice because there's different types of mice for the 664 work um, so I will have a go at that at some point but for now I'm just going to uh, assemble this so it should be pretty straightforward So I just thought I'd show you it working here, um, just bear with me a minute while this boots up. Yeah, you can see it's working already there, um, and I believe, uh, I think if you, to configure this you hold down both buttons uh, and it goes into that little circle there which shows you it's configuration mode. So I think you press the left button, there you go, you can see it moves across like that, I press that again. Uh, it just did it one time. One, uh, it's like one one way, then the other. One way, then the other, then the other. I think. So you've got three different. Uh, maybe it's four. I think it's four. Four different speed modes there. So uh, I'll just put it in the next one. Uh, that one seems quite slow. 
and you can test it at each point there, that one's not so bad, so I'll right click, uh, oh you press both, that's it, and then it circles to show you you're out of config mode, and that's it, so that's really cool, um, <coughs> that's amazing, you know, Alison did a really good job of this, I've had a look, because um, I'm going to try and recreate some like this myself for Commodore 64, um, and hats off to her, she's done a really good job, and Chris did as well, on the code there, um, it was all written in assembler, um, it seems pretty simple on face value. Once you start looking at the uh, PS2 um, format there, the packets and things, yeah, it's not that straightforward. Um, I can imagine it's going to take me quite a while once I actually get my teeth into this uh, to get it working on the C64. So, um, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of work involved, a lot of trial and error. It's a bit sad, uh, really, that uh, Chris is not going to be manufacturing these anymore at Exos. Um, <coughs> I think he's given the rights to some guy in Germany to do. Um, so I'll post a link to that on the uh, uh, you know the description of this video so you can uh, go away and order one of those if you want but I'll put a link to Chris as well because I do know he's got some of the boards and things and kits still in stock so you still can buy these from him um, but ultimately you know he's uh, going to stop doing them and you'll have to get them from Germany um, <coughs> so it's, you know it's sad in many ways like I say it's sad that um, you know after all that work that Alison and Chris did that you know Chris isn't going to manufacture these but part of the reasoning behind that um, I might mention the previous I can't remember is um, that you know there's a lot of clones sprung up for these you know I've seen two or three clones at least for these um, Amiga slash ST um, to PS2 adapters and they're all based on pick chips like this I, d I don't think they've reverse engineered the code or anything I think they've just gone away and produced their own some of them might be uh, clones you know direct clones someone might have actually um, found a way to uh, extract the code off the chip I honestly don't know um, but uh, anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you soon